Hello, unique givers. You all are welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, unique Nello. For this tutorial, a subscriber sent this picture to me and I decided to share it with you guys. So stay tuned. So guys, I'll be using raw silk fabric for this project. And you remember raw silk, one side is stretchy and the stretchy part will be my length side. While the length of this fabric measures 25 inches by 20 inches width, I cut it out two pieces, 22 inches length by 20 inches width. This is the other one that I cut out. All right, so first thing I'll be doing is to fold the fabric into do this way, okay? Once you stretch out the fabric, just adjust it and fold it into to making the wrong side to face you. Then you sew down. All right, after doing that, do same thing to the other one. I don't even understand me. Then you turn it out. After turning it out, you make the sewn part to be at the center of the fabric. All right. So what I want to do now is to form my pleats. Please, why forming this pleats? Don't take the material under. Just pick that top part of the fabric. Don't pick the under, the, the material under it. Don't even understand me. Just pick the top part of the fabric. That one under it, avoid it, avoid it, okay? So it won't shorten your fabric while making your design. So you use your pin to guide it and you take your sewing machine and sew down, all right? So after doing all this, um, do something to the other fabric and see the way it looks. All right, so what are we doing now is to locate the center of the fabric just the way I'm showing you. I'm going to fold it into two this way. Guys, this... Tutorial is a quick one and it's very easy to make. All right, you can use any stretchy fabric to get this design, please. It's not a must you use raw silk. Once one side is stretchy, you are good to go. So um, I'm stretching it out and I will use pin to pierce the center. That pin will give me a guide to know the center of this fabric. If you don't have pin, you can use your shock, your tailor shock to do that work. Just adjust the fabric very well. And make sure you locate the center of the fabric. Then use your pin and get that center part. Please, whatever you're doing on this fabric, you do it on the other one, okay? Guys, let me use the opportunity to inform you that we have a WhatsApp platform where you can throw your questions, you can ask your questions, and I will be attaching it to the description box. Or you can shut this number up. This is my number on the screen. Then I will add you to the WhatsApp group. All right, so I was interested in learning turban or any headgear. Don't hesitate to join this WhatsApp group. All right, okay, so um, I'm using different color of thread. If you watch closely, you see that I'm using a different color of thread. The reason is because this thread will be removed later. It's a, this is a temporary stitch, okay? So I will still remove this thread later after sewing down okay so you can see the way it is i've adjusted and this is what i have guys watch the way i'll be forming this design then um this first part will come on top of the other one you can see what i just did why this other one will come on top of this one it's called crisscross crisscross design let me repeat it so you understand what i just did right so I'm um, going to place it this way, making the right side to face you. Yeah, it's going to cross it this way and the other one come across the other way. Please, that place that I form plate, you can see the way I placed it, the way I form plate. All right, so once you're done doing that, then you turn it this way. After once you're done, you turn it. I don't know if you saw what I just did. All right, after turning, then I'll be using my pin to hold it down this part that i'm holding down is the part that we sew okay just hold it down adjust and sew down then use your pin as a guide so once you go to your sewing machine it will be very easy for you so i'm using my pin to hold them together um after doing this i will do something on the other side of the fabric All right so you can keep on watching and you will see that this video is very very easy
Alright guys, you can see I'm done sewing this part and the sewn part is facing me but I'm going to turn it this way and place at this place you stitched just mark that part okay, I'm going to place it this way with the help of your pin, I'm going to hold it down alright, so I'll take another pin to hold it down again so that when I take it to sewing machine, it will be very easy for me that's why I always use pins as a guide so I'm going to take pins to hold it down this way. Then after doing that, you're going to turn it out, okay? Because you'll be stitching from the back, not from the front of your top and cap. So what you'll be doing next is to wrap it up this way. Then you're going to turn it out and adjust the back of your top and. So once you're done pinning down, take it to your sewing machine and sew it down. Please note, I didn't show it. I, I, I skipped my memory. Why sewing? That's this... Um, edge the band part mark your hair circumference before sewing you know remember the, the the length was 25 inches so what you're going to do is to mark your head circumference which is half of it 11 inches mark it before sewing so it will not be loose this part here you understand this front part mark 11 inches that is 22 inches for my hair circumference so then you now sew down you know what i mean please so it won't be loose if you sew it like this, it will bogus on your head. What we'll just do is tighten up that part. Then at this back here, form your running stitch in order to get your gathers. Okay, once you're done, remove all your pins. To avoid story that touches the heart. You know, once you're done sewing, you're going to form your running stitch at the back of the cap as usual. So once you're done doing your running stitch, you turn it out this way. And I'll be wrapping it up. I will show you guys how to do your wrap up. All right. Here, I didn't do the running stitch at the back because I was in a hurry. But once you are done stitching, please, form your gathers at the back of the gap. It gives it a neat and beautiful look at the back. So, this is the way to wrap it up. You can see the way I'm doing it. You can see the way I'm wrapping it up. It's not a must you add this wrap up. It's just that the person sent it and I observed that there's a wrap there on top of the turban. But if you don't want yours to have wrap, you can just stop where the top and stops without attaching this long rope, okay? Guys, you can embellish, you can add your stones, your applique, and that's it. So thank you for staying up to this time. I really appreciate you all, my new members and my returning subscribers. Bye!